Okay, big okay. This is old Cam. And this is not a spring chick. And today we're going to be talking about... Actually about several things that we are really experts at. First of all, as most people know, she is Asian. I am? It's sort of, but some people actually question that. So <laughs> that means that I she just is look Asian. Asian. <laughs> and even though I have really blonde, I have blonde hair to the point it's almost white, but if, if you look, if you really close, it's dark underneath it, so I sometimes think I dye it. No, it just, I turn red in the summer. My mother and my grandmothers on both sides of my family are American Indians. I'm listed on the uh, census form as a pure, I mean, you know, when your grandmother's and your mommy's an Indian, they just list you as a pure Indian, folks. But, mm -hmm. So we are minorities. We know the problems minorities have, basically, in the industry that we exist in. We also know, we also, so we're going to be talking from that direction, we're also going to be talking about when was the last time you saw a major film or an independent film or a television show featuring products from um, Latinos in them? I don't think I've ever seen it. That's right, because it's not done. Oh. You'll see, well, I saw Dos Echos. Dos Echos happened. Dos Equis? Not a, that's oh, not a, Corona? Corona, and those products are not turned out by baby companies. Those products are turned out like by InBev. Uh, what was the <laughs> last time? Okay, so you saw Taco Bell in a commercial. Mm -hmm. That company is owned by Pepsi. Yeah, I mean, Del Taco's or Taco Bell, it's not really a Mexican company. Like no, it's not Mexican. It is. Uh, El Poco Loco is not. Uh, El Pollo Loco. El Pollo Loco is not. <laughs> actually, my mother was, my mother was one of the, my mother helped run that company when it was founded. But, most of the products that you see that look like they have a Latin slant are not owned by Latins. They're owned by big conglomerates. And uh, right now, the big push in the universe is to get Latin, you know, to do minority, put minorities out there front and center for people. And yet, the bit, and we're also in a, we're in the TV and film industry. We do interviews a lot of people in it. And um, it's a funny thing. They, a lot of the people we interview that make feature films want to have products in their productions they don't know how to get hold of the people that uh, want to put products in their productions and the people that basically want to put the products don't know how to get hold of the other people and then you run into the bit that minorities even have it worse. I mean, try to get your product in a production if you're a minority member. Mm -hmm. It just isn't done. Not done done. I mean, um, it's just, it just uh, I don't understand why because I mean, like Los Angeles is a huge I mean, there are everything you can think of in Latin and Asian in the Los Angeles County and uh, Orange County areas, and they're not utilized, totally not utilized. I mean, she, she knows about all of this because she goes, people ask her continually, do you know of anybody that, you know, that, we, that wants to put, you know, would like to put products in our stuff? But guess who they don't ask in that, any, anybody? Mm -hmm. They don't ask for an Asian, they don't ask for an Indian, they don't ask for a Latin. It is totally oblivious to the fact that these companies exist, and the companies that exist don't know how to talk to the people that are making the products. Well, a lot of times what happens is the people that make them, um, they have, well actually, I'll put it this way, they have retail, or they have the different people and organizations yeah. that work, work with the celebrities, they work with the films to get it out. But that's typically a larger company the that companies has the don't have the budgets them. for it. They do not have the budgets. Um, okay, uh, um, uh, the average company, I mean, we're going to talk about it. Our president and the Democratic Party doesn't understand. The average company is ran by, like, her, her family, mm -hmm. uh, basically, was a grocery. My father was, um, he built home. Of course, my father, my father was a stunt person, a second unit person, but he actually built homes for a living. Mm -hmm. So we know, both our sides know, you know, my mother nationally, my mother ran a god awful big corporation for that. <laughs> so I know, I know the corporate side, I know the little business side. My father was a little business, my mother was corporate. She basically worked on the corporate side and she grew up in the little business side. So we're, we do know what's going on. But, um, but, but one of the things we're trying to do at the moment is we want to, in, we're actually pleading, we want to interview people that uh, basically have, they, they've got a television show or a movie you know, we're not, if you if you got like over ten million dollars, you got somebody that they'll come to you. But the majority of the movies do not cost that kind of money. Mm -hmm. The majority of the Even ten million dollars is not that much for funding. No, but, uh, okay, you think Veronica Mars is going to have problems getting people to put products in her movie? No, I mean, because they have an A-lister in the movie. Oh, 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 what? 
they did a, a Kickstarter, no, Indiegogo campaign, or was it, it Kickstarter? It was Kickstarter. I mean, come on, okay. to make a Veronica Mars movie. Okay, so they already had distribution for a TV show. Do you it, think it, they really needed a campaign? No, they didn't need a campaign. It's just a means that they, it was a PR thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's also, the studio basically has its own facilities. If you're making a studio production, it's almost a guarantee that people are going to be beating on the studio's gate door. Can we put our products in your productions and what is it going to cost us? Mm -hmm. And then um, if you have a large advertising agency, the large advertising agency is always going to include that the day of product placement. I mean, we're looking standing in your front. I got, we have glasses hey, look, here. we've got a friend visiting us right there. Uh, mm. oh, a, What's that? That was a great big black widow. Oh, I didn't get to see his time put his hourglass on his back before he smashed him. I killed it because I'm a bad person. I also don't like being bit. We also have a poopy in the house and she don't want her getting bit. But um, this is a product right here from a company. Her hat is a product from a company. My glasses, her glasses are products from a company. My t-shirt is a product from a company. So. There, this is how you get things done in this universe, is that everything you do almost on a low side is product placement. Mm -hmm. But um, we need, we actually, we, you know, we're going to be like Mike Rowe on Dirty Job. Mike Rowe will come out at the end of every week. You know, we only exist because you people out there give us ideas to do. Well, we want to do, we, we want to do things, we want to interview people that have products that they want to put out there. We want to talk to people in the industry on the smaller side who will need products for their production. You know, because it's a mutually beneficial thing. Maybe yeah. we, if we talk to enough people, we can convince people out there that doing business with minorities is actually a good idea. Mm -hmm. We're really having a, a, a really hard time at the moment because, um, you know, like I said, the majority of the business, and we live in an area that basically and they say within the next 10 years is going to be two-thirds Latino and you cannot get one of their products in something. Mm -hmm. I think if they gave their products... I know, even when work. they're in, you're looking at a film or television production that's in a Latino area. Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll use a major company's product that looks Latin in mm -hmm. a bar. I mean, you'll go in a bar, you do not see one single thing in that burial bar that is produced by we have we have we have little micro breweries we have micro everything in the Los Angeles area. Mm -hmm. If you go into a cantina, you're going to see them bring stuff out that are produced by major companies, mm -hmm. not by. I mean, they'll absolutely rather than to take the food the cantina serves, they'll bring in food from somebody else. Oh, oh I know. Oh. See, we got the chair dog is coming to join us because she's a minority also. But no, but um, yeah. we need your help because we want to do interviews. And if you don't tell us you want to be interviewed, we don't know you exist. <laughs> so, um, you know, if you want to, okay, you can basically respond to this video here and just send us a, a thing, or you can go to um, uh, MBN News Video Web and basically leave a comment. You can just go to the travel suite. Or you can go to thetravelsuite.com, which just is actually we produce a, we produce a thing on the travel industry also. Yeah. And you can go directly there. Or MBN News MBN News Video Web, MontyBubbles.com, yeah. or thetravelsuite.com, and actually just look at the contact information and you can contact. Yeah, us. because we can't we, we 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 can't do interviews if we don't have anybody to do interviews with. So we're sort of yeah, leading. Yeah, we do have lots of interviews. <laughs> no, no, we don't have interviews that we need to. Um, okay, like I said, we're, because you, I okay, I got I grew up in a universe which my mother really got pissed about it because. I'll give you an example. I'm having lunch with another actor. My mother knew that my, hey, my mother really liked, my mother was a girlfriend of an older actor that happened to be in a movie, when before my mother actually married my father naturally. But in California though today actually can work better, you know, but they didn't. But um, what happened was my mother come on to set, she brought, uh, she worked at a restaurant, she ran a restaurant downtown and um, they were, they ordered food, they would cater for the studios that were there and she figured, oh, I'm going to get to go see my ex-boyfriend, that my son's working on the thing. So I mean, she said, so she came on to the set and um, she and said, where, you know, where's my son? I don't know. He said, uh, they said, they're trying to find out, you know, they go, what's his name? Oh, oh, you mean the half-breed? He's over there and what do you mean? They said, well, he, you know, he's, he's you know, he's, 
you know, his mother is an Indian and his father isn't, he's a breed, and which did not make my mother happy. So I do know the problems that you can have in this industry with not being, you know. It's actually worse. I mean, I, I actually got segregated. And the Latinos wouldn't have anything to do with me. The Indians wouldn't have oh, anything really? to do with me. Oh, really? Because you were half-breed? Because I was not. I would, you know, so. I, I grew up in an environment in the industry where I know how they really do not like people like me. And there's a god awful. Maybe that's what's going on. There's so many Latinos and so many Asians that are marrying. And they say, well, you left Afro-Americans out. Well, because Afro-Americans actually fare better on getting their products in because you got to understand when you do a product like from BET, it's almost all produced, uh, or Aspire, it's produced by Afro-American companies, folks. Mm -hmm. So if you'd almost, you're dealing with their companies, not with some, you're not dealing with Coca-Cola, you're not dealing with InBev, you're probably dealing with a company that actually is minority ran. So, I'm, not, I'm on my high horse. I just want to get people like me actually involved in it. Like she got, she knows tons and tons of Asians that basically have mm -hmm. products that the product never gets seen. Lots of them. And here's a good thing. Well, they talk to us. Because <coughs> they, don't, they, they don't trust the system. Mm -hmm. So I guess until next time, this is old Cam. And this is not a spring chick. And we're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to www.mbn. <laughs> Montybubbles.com. <laughs> Com. No, MontyBubbles.net, or actually MontyBubbles.com too. MontyBubbles.net, which is the commercial site, or the travel suite dot com. You're tongue-tied today. Oh, I'm having a bad day. Okay. I, I'm old. I don't get to sleep much. That chair dog is a real bitch to work for. So anyway, wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. But most of all, you know, thank you once again for over, well, actually hundreds and hundreds of millions of links to content we've produced. We've become like McDonald's now. We get so many of them, we no longer keep track. We, we went over 14,000. As for all your product, I've got a thousand new shows, folks. Yeah, but come follow us on Twitter at Monty Bubbles.